God bless Biafra. God bless Biafra Special Military Squad. God bless Mazin Namdekano. God bless Mazu Chemefo. And God bless all Biafrans all over the world who have dedicated their time, their energy, their money, their life and the struggle for the freedom of the indigenous people of Biafra. God bless everyone who is watching me now. God bless you all. Yesterday I began a speech, I began a campaign against call to wars because this issue of courtism have really, 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 really damaged, killed, and destroyed lives in the southeast and in the south south, in the entire Biafra land. And if nothing is done about it, we will lose our soldiers, those who we will use in the war ahead. Because, to be frank with you, there is a war waiting for all of us. There is a war waiting for all of us, and we must be ready for that war. This is not a prophecy. This is something that I saw. There is a war to be initiated by the Union of the Islamic Court. And uh, we have to be ready. A house divided cannot stand. And one of the issues we are having is the issue of this courtism in Biafra land. It has divided our strong men. Instead of them fighting their common enemies, they are now fighting themselves. So we cannot just keep quiet. We must, we must fight. We must speak. We must do something. Every, anything humanly possible to stop this call to wars must be done so that these wars will stop and will forge ahead in life. Today, it's going to be an... Uh, I, will, I, will, I will not be speaking alone because I'm going to be inviting people so that they will tell us what they think, how they think we can get this thing solved. Uh, first of all, hashtag stop call to war or court wars these wars must stop as i'm talking to you now in every state in biafra land there is one or two court wars going on it's not it's not it's not a joke even even i have I've, i was told that they have even extended these court wars to uh, abroad countries like malaysia italy we are experiencing such court wars now this is to show you the gravity of this courtism, the, the, the way it, it has, the level it has gone to now. So if we don't stop it at this stage, I'm sorry, by the time we need those soldiers to fight against the Union of Islamic Courts, we will no longer have any soldier again. So we must come together and fight this court war and fight it to the barest minimum. I am not saying that courtism will stop. What I'm saying is that court wars will stop because the courtists we are talking about are people from the age bracket of 80 years to 10 years old. Men who are 80 years to 10 years old. So a lot of people are involved in this courtism. So it's not something you can just say, uh, uh, we wave a magic wand and it will stop. But what we are going to concentrate on is the call to wars. You can be doing your courtism without fighting. You can be playing your game without fighting. What, what we are against now is those wars because we cannot tell people to renounce and denounce. Many of them will not accept it. But the issue of stopping the wars, it's something that we, we can do. Because most of these wars are not being declared by the leaders of those fraternities. It is those, especially those ones who are recruited new. They are the ones who, who want to show their neighborhood that they are now courtist. By so doing, they will cause a war. And before you know it, the war has circulated. 
not only in its environment but in the entire state from the state to another state from the other state to another state before you know the war will spread even go abroad so today we'll be discussing what is the causes of this court wars that's what we are going to be discussing today the causes and the remedy how do we stop this call to wars? Because the wars are what brings the enmity. You understand? I, I remember someone called me yesterday and he said that he was a student of University of uh, Nandasikiwa University, that there was a time the Obasanjo was passing through their school, so they all came out and blocked Obasanjo from passing because Obasanjo did not approve to build a flyover uh, in, in that Unizik, in, at Unizik that every court group came out that no one cares if you're a black ass no one cares if you're a vikings no one cares if you're a tutu no one cares no one cares about any frat you belong to they all came out that day and fought for one purpose so when he said it i smiled i've always said it here that nothing is impossible that with what i saw in the niger delta during my days in militancy i believe nothing is impossible again so we are going to discuss on how we are going to stop this call to war because this war must stop. This war must stop. This energy must be channeled towards the restoration of Biafra. This energy, this energy, this youth. Some people might think that all these courtes are criminals. Some of them are not really. There are some courtes who, if you ask them to go and steal, they won't steal. But because of uh, there's this there's this prestige that. It's associated to any man who is a courtist, especially if you're in the university, even in the street. So we cannot generally call them criminals. We cannot generally call them criminals. There are good ones among them. There are, we want to channel the energy towards a right direction. These are military men. These are, these are DSS. These are policemen. These are, these are custom officers. You know, they have the mind to be in, in any of these forces that I've mentioned but they are exhibiting it the wrong way. So it is for us now to channel them, channel their rugidity towards a better direction. Instead of uh, killing themselves, we will not channel their energy to kill our enemies. We all know what the Fulanis are planning to do to us. It's no longer news that the Fulanis want to forcefully Islamize this country. They want to use every means humanly possible to Islamize this country and we will not allow it. So we have to come together, uh, 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 bury all our differences. We have to come together, unite all the war houses. Because a man whose house is on fire does not chase rats. You are, if your house is on fire, you must, before we can defeat our enemies outside, we must unite, we must come to an agreement, we must come to a concord, we must, we must, we must we must come to an agreement before we can now face our enemies outside. So today we are going to discuss the reasons. And I want, I want those who are going to call today to be those who are ex courtists those who have involved themselves in this courtism. Tell us, tell us what, you thought, what in your own experience led to a particular war you experienced. And please don't tell me the name of the frat you belong to. Don't tell me the name of the court group you belong to. I don't want us to bring this sentiment of this is my guy this is not my guy so just tell me you're a courtist uh, you are you are in so and so school so and so time so and so thing caused the war and they would let's know the causes of let's know the the, the let's do a research Let, let's do a small research on the remote causes of these wars then after doing that research we will now know how to tackle it and then there's so something again we must also do uh, we must also use this mass media, both the social media, the print media, the, 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 the visual media, we are going to use, and the audio uh, media, we're going to use them uh, very well in preaching this gospel, uh, uh, the gospel according to Amemon, the gospel to stop the wars, stop the court wars. Like I said, we're not going to stop courtism. It's not easy to stop courtism now because the age, the, the number of people who are involved in this thing are so numerous. There are many people who are involved in this, but we can stop the court wars. This is, this, I want to narrow the target. 
so that you understand where I'm coming from. The target is to stop all the court wars. So today, let's look into what is the remote cause of these court wars. I'm, I'm going to summarize, but I will give opportunity to people to discuss. Let's, let's discuss. Let's know what is the remote cause of these court wars. The, when we know the remote cause, we know how to address it. Because the first step to solving your problem is to know, to, to, to realize you have a problem. To know where the, uh, like the Igbos will say, if you don't know where the rain starts beating you, you will not know where it will stop. Something like that. That's, that's I, I hope I got the, the, the proverb well. So, uh, uh, we are going to discuss on how this courtism, how, how the wars start, what causes these wars. And then we will go on from there. God bless Biafra and God bless Biafra Special Military Squad. Something else that I want to tell you, by the time the viewers get to 100, we are going to uh, observe a minute silence for those who have died as a result of court wars. As a result of court wars that has happened in all the universities, in all the streets of Biafra land. We are going to observe a minute silence for those who have died as soon as uh, our, our viewers get to 100. God bless Biafra and God bless Biafra Special Military Squad. Uh, like I told you, most of these court wars are not being declared by the leader of the court group. Most of these court wars are being caused by, by mostly those who came on board new, those who came into the court group new. That's, that's my observation. But today, like I said, please, if you are not an escortist, Avoid, don't call me, because you wouldn't know what, if you don't come, you don't go know. If you don't come, you don't go know. If you are not in the streets, you cannot know the streets. If you are not in the streets, you cannot know the streets. Even if your senior brother is a courtist, he told you all the stories about courtism, you are still not a courtist. Even if you have, you have read so many books that wrote about courtism, you are not a courtist. If you don't enter that court initiation, if you don't enter that initiation, you cannot know what, in, no matter what they tell you, no matter the stories you had, no matter how your senior brother narrated the story give you, you are not a courtist. So please, I want those who have been involved in this to call and tell us in, in their various universities what caused the war, how do we stop all this, how, how do we stop this court war, because I am narrowing this to stopping of the court wars. We are not going to be discussing uh, long story. We are our own, we're not going to stop courtism. It's not possible to stop courtism, but it is possible to stop the court wars, to 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 to, to make it impossible that before there, there can be any court war, it, it would it would be it would be very very difficult to be to to, uh, to see any court war because now it's very easy to start up a war. It's very easy to start up a war, but it's not easy to maintain the war. It's not easy to, at the end of the day, everybody will lose. Everybody will lose. So let's talk about how this court war starts, how to solve it. God bless Biafra and God bless Biafra Special Military Squad. Uh, I have Daniel Oyekachi. I'm adding Daniel Oyekachi now. Daniel, if it connects, please, uh, you tell us the court is before. You let us know if you are not if you cannot if you are not bold to say it because uh, uh, it is only those I'm still adding you it's not clicking I don't know why because if you are not in the streets you cannot know the streets if you are not in Germany you cannot know what is happening no matter how you do it in Gogo no matter how you Gogo you cannot I have not seen snow before I have not been to abroad so I can't no one can tell me I, I won't be talking about snow. It is those who are in abroad now who are witnessing the snow. We talk about snow, but I've seen the video. I've seen how it is, but I've not felt it with my hand. You understand? So that's how it is. If you're not in the streets, you cannot know the streets. If you're not an escortist, you cannot know anything about courtism. I'm sorry, it's not clicking. Let me use it. Let me, let me try your flash, Chelsea. I just pray and hope it connects. So like I was saying, this court issue, this court wars can be stopped. It can be stopped. Someone said uh, we should reach the leaders of the fraternity. The problem with this idea of reaching the leaders of the fraternity is if you are into fraternity, you will know that 
there are there are in in in, in some schools you have two two people dragging the leadership. You have cartels. There are cartels in this in this uh, in this court issue. There are cartels. So for you to now say this is overall, there's nothing like overall leader of a court group in a state. There's nothing like overall leader in a state. Every, in, in, as, a, as it is now, especially in the South, in, in, in Biafra land, as, as it is now, there are, there are court groups in every local government. There are court groups in every local government and they are all independent. To a, is to reach out to all of them at the same time. The best thing to do is to reach out to all of them at the same time, so so that uh, we will end it, you know. And the only way to reach out to them at the same time is through social media, through through mass media, uh, 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 the television, the the, the the radios, and the rest of them. So, and someone also called me yesterday and said we should set up a fund, a, a campaign, a a, fund, a, 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 a a an account for this particular uh, project. And I think I, I, I buy that idea. I buy that idea so that we can, you know, do jingles on radio, so that we can do jingles on the television, so that we can, uh, uh, so that we can, you know, promote, promote this campaign to stop court wars. Uh, I'm not seeing anyone I would I would have loved a situation whereby okay I don't know maybe I use the word a uh, uh, courtist okay now if you know what you can tell us it, it mustn't be a courtist uh, l- let me let me narrow it let me make it this way you mustn't be a courtist but if you know an idea you can give to us so that we we'll manage this crisis in, in the Biafra land right now because if we don't manage it, it will all backfire. It, it's going to backfire. And, what is, and, and the effect is something we cannot bear. Now, BSMS, the, the reason why I am going to accept, I'm accepting those who are courtists into BSMS is because I want to give them a forum to, to exhibit that anger. Every court boy is angry. It is out of annoyance that they join all this court group. It's out of annoyance that they join all this court group. So I am going to, I'm going to kind of, uh, uh, excuse me, I'm trying to add someone who just, I heard, I heard what you said. He said I should call you, but I'm I'm not seeing your. I'm not seeing your name on my list here. I wish you could send me so that I can invite you. No. Every court group. Every court group, no court group like war, war time. They all like peace. Every court group like peace. But most of these wars, like I said, one person, they cause the war. Or two persons, two people, maybe court A and court B, they fight. Before you know it, everywhere. The war don't spread, go everywhere. So, in my own thinking, my own thinking. One, we should work on our ego. Like I said yesterday, no victor, no vanquish. No victor, no vanquish. So, I'm trying to add your heart. It's not clicking. I'm trying to... I'm trying to add you, but uh, if I must have to call, it has to be here. Uh, let me add someone that. Uh, uh,
So like I was saying, we have to end this cult war. We have to end it by all means necessary. This cult war has to come to an end. It has to come to an end. Because if you've witnessed cult wars, you will understand that these wars are not helping the society. We are misdirecting our energy. The energy we used to do something. Listen, most of the people who are involved in courtism are the brightest of the students. They are the brightest students in, on, on campus. I'll tell you the reason why I joined court, uh, fraternity. When I, when I was in first year, in my first school, so I, that, there, was this, there was this final year student, female student, that so much liked me. She just saw me and she just liked me. So she invited me to come to the calf. You, you, know, you, you know what I mean by calf? And I went to the calf. She sat me down. She bought me food. We were eating. You know, we were gisting. All of a sudden, some court groups now came. You know, it's like one of them was dating her before, something like that. I don't know. So they now came there. They now ordered me to, to stand up from there. I was, at first, I was like, why? Before I could even finish my wire, eh, the car slap wouldn't wire me. Eh? They beat hell out of me. You understand? And uh, being someone who cannot take all those shit, I became very, very angry. I used my leg, Waka began to find a rival court. You understand? Because then I now knew, because they were saying, I, want, I don't want to use their slangs here. They were using their slangs, so I, I now knew that they were a court group. So I, and I, I went and looked for a rival court and begged them to, to, to put me in. They told me that uh, the guy that I met was like, that before they fix initiation, they, they used to fix it. It's not something that one person will come and they just go and uh, initiate him, that I should wait. I told him, no, that I want to join, na, 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 na. I want to enter. He was like, what's it happen? And I gave him the story. So when I told him this thing, he said I should come back. He, uh, uh, later, I now discovered he went and met the leader and told him about me. And then, fortunately, one other guy also was also interested. So the two of us were taking two of us only. The carriers, the carriers in that bush. Before you know it, you know, court in initiation is not child's play. People die there. It is called torture. They will flog hell out of you. Your back will finish. They will flog rubbish enter your head. It's all about flogging. It's all about beating. You understand? It's all about ca candle wax. It's all about incest. They go use and burn your body. Cigarettes. They go burn them for your body. Different kind of torture. Machets. Machets. Uh, uh, Basuku chain. That's so they go use them for your body. That's so they go use flog you well, well. You know? And it lasts throughout the night. But the next, but the next morning, you are now a beast. So the next morning, uh, the guy that took me to the bush now took me to, uh, to his house and uh, treated me after the injury. Uh, I stayed two weeks. Then the third week, and I went to the school, walked straight to the girl's uh, hostel, called her out. She was like, ah, you, come my hostel, call me. I said, come, we come, you know, we went to calf. So I bought her, this time around, I was the one buying. I bought her something, she was, I think, a soft drink, you know, she was drinking. And then those guys now came again. Uh, before I came there, I, I've already planned it with my guys. So when they now came and they, they saw me again, they wanted to speak, me to stand up, begin chanting my own too. So they now to say, me too, I don't go blend. You know, they couldn't slap me the way they, they used to slap me before. So these are the, this is my own personal reason why I joined uh, uh, cultism. As far what, what I just told you now happened in 1997, October 1997. October 1997. Uh, I told you that uh, if we get up to 100 viewers, we are going to maintain a minute silence for all those who have died in this court war. After that minute silence, I will continue from where I stopped. So wherever you are, please just close your eyes. Let's maintain a minute silence, a few seconds silence for those who have died as a result of these court wars. Thank you.
May their soul rest in peace. He said, May their soul, may the soul of those who have died as a result of all the court wars in the southeast, in Biafra land, may their soul rest in peace. So, like I was saying, most of the people who joined these court groups did not join these court groups because they wanted to. It was pressure. Some self don't even know. There are, there, are, there are some narrations that, that uh, there are some times, uh, I remember some guys that I took into, I brought into this courtism, something. Uh, some of them, I just told them, say, party day. Say, party day, you know, that they should come for the party. And they believed me. So, from the party, we enter bush. Uh, there's a song they used, to, they used to sing, they say, party, turn to bush, you know. So, some of them, we are invited for a party, and before you know it, the party now becomes initiation. So, there are so many reasons why they joined. But the reasons why we involve ourselves in the court war is something that is totally unacceptable. It is not acceptable. It's not acceptable at all. So, today, let's, I, I, I'm waiting for people to call. Because it's not something I can say. I, I won't be. I won't only, I, it's not only me that will be talking about it. People should call, especially those who are involved in this court issue. Because if we eradicate this courtism in Biafra land, we will achieve a lot. We will achieve a lot. It is. It is a menace in our society. It's a very big menace in our society. We will have to channel the youth energy. Many of them are many of them are bright students. Many of them are first class materials. Many of them are, 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 are great engineers. But because of courtism, they can no longer enter the class. They can no longer enter the classroom. All right. Let me see if I can find your name. I'm trying to add someone. Waiting for me to add you is not the best because I'm trying to add some of you, but uh, but I want today to be an interactive uh, section so that we'll be discussing. Uh, we'll talk on how to stop this minutes of courtism. Uh -huh. Tony, as the first us, and they yeah, will God, God bless you. God bless you. God bless Biafra. God bless Biafra. Yeah. Uh, very happy with the program we are doing now about this courtism of 18. It has killed many of our youth. At least I know I know of many youth that have died of it. I was born and brought up. I went to school in Enugu also. So we have mm. lost a lot of guys. We have mm. lost a lot of guys. And uh, for us to like for us to deal with it or to prevent our people from joining and prevent our youth from dying. We have to educate them from the secondary school. We have to start educating them from the secondary school. I think that will be the best. Once they know they, because like you said, some people are just brought into it through party. Let us go and party. From mm. party when they are tipsy, they will carry them into the bush. Mm. That is normal. Day. That is the normal way they normally do it. So, but, but if we start to, to enlighten our youth, to educate them on the dangers of these things and the way to run away from it, because once you, mm. once you are a friend to them, like they say, a, a friend to a German is a German. Once you become too close to them, that is when they will lure you to a party, and from there they can easily get you. 
And once you have belonged, you have belonged. Mm. Mm. I've I've left Nigeria. Yes. I'm, I'm I'm based in Dubai. But last year I lost a I lost a very good friend, the only son of the of the parents. Just three months for him to pass mm. out from the NYSC, he came back for SMAS and he was killed. That is the end. The family are left with nobody again. So it has killed a lot of agile youth. When I mean agile youth, we youth. We have lost a lot of our youth from there. So the problem is how to get to them, how to get to the youth, how to how to like to enlighten them, to educate them on the dangers of this thing, not even to as a, because now if you start going to the to the people who are already there, it is very easy to for you to discuss with them because now they are inside there, they know the dangers. Some of them want out, some of them want to die for something. Now that dying for fighting with your brother. And you, when you see this the cause of the wars, some of them are because of uh, or girlfriend, nothing that you can't even be happy to hear. What is the cause of the war? And we see people cease to cease there. That is, people are dying, not even format. So when we start to, I think when we start to talk to our youth, mostly from the secondary school before they will enter the university, I think that will do a very good job. It will enlighten them to know how they will go when they're in school and how they will stay away from them. And how they, even if they finally get in there, they have to fight for good thing. Like you said, you, if you are united, we fight the full army has men. We, are fight, we fight book alarms. Just like you, the, you said about the the, the top scene, the one in, in Portacourt, how they came together and the, and the federal government, now we are afraid of them and give them the, the and call for, yes. for the yes. freedom, the amnesty. amnesty. So if we come mm. together, if all these, mm. yeah, if all these court groups, all the health men and the, all the head of the court, we call them together and let them not kill themselves for nothing. You are killing your fellow brother, you are killing your fellow sister, because we have, as we have the male, we have the female also, and they all, all these things. Yes. Are killing. When, when yes. the war starts, everybody, even 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 some people who are not even member, once you are a friend to them, they kill the friends more. Because once you are afraid today, you don't know what is yes. happening. They won't even tell you what is happening. You will be staying mm. at home and somebody will knock at the door. The next thing is you are gone. Now they will say, hey, it's misidentity. Mm. That misidentity, that one has gone. Mm -hmm. That's nothing like bringing you back. Yes. So yes. if we have to like educate them, if you are not a member of them, don't join them. Don't even go close to them. Stay a mile from because they will not tell you. You can go to a club with them. You can go to party with them. And from there, once they see that you are tipsy, you have taken enough drink. A friend was telling me how he got initiated. That is how, how it happened. From party, they told him, Let, let's go from this party. This, nothing is happening here again. Let's change to another club. For you know it, he's inside the bush. And they can't do anything. Then he took the oath and they joined. He was very happy to have left Nigeria and the uh, was outside the country. So if we tell you the truth, try to educate them and they tell them the dangers of it. Because no court, I know, none of them will tell you the dangers until you are finally there. And once you finally get yourself involved, then you will know the dangers. And there's no way out again. You have to fight it. Most especially when you're in school. You have to graduate and the and the graduation is not even when you are when you are finally out of it, sometimes the problem you had a few years ago, they can bring it back for you. They will say maternal de sour, they bring the, the thing back to you, maybe when you are married and you still go down. So we have to start yes. to talk to our youth from the secondary school. I think from the second now we know we have we have small courtes in secondary school, but if we start to talk to them there, even in primary that, schools that, now, there's a difference between yeah, yeah. But there's a difference between the secondary school and the primary school court, and also the university level. Mm. So they should know that mm. if you if you if you are if you are opportune and you finally left secondary school after joining the one in secondary school. Just forget about it. Go to school and do your education there. Your parents are not sending you there to come back home after five or six years and they, they will start burying somebody again. After they have spent all their end, had them callings and the next thing is they are telling them that their son was shot maybe during his NY because mostly now they will leave you to graduate. Then maybe when you are doing your NYSC or even after the NYSC, they will still come for you. So I think the best thing for us to do that I, I was listening to one of our brothers that called yesterday, he also hit the point. 
when you say that you have to go to the ones you know, like the names you called yesterday in the Enugu, some of the names you mentioned yesterday, I know them. Some of them are still alive. And many of them have gone and mm. forgotten because once you die, you are forgotten. Once you die, because some of yes. them don't marry. They don't, they have, they, don't, they have nobody to represent them. So once you are, and the parents, some of them, we bury them outside. They don't want to remember anything about them. Some of them, they don't even do working for them. Just they, because the parents, no, no parents want to bury, bury his own child. They give birth to us for us, for them to live and we feed them. And after them, we, we have to bury them, not for them to bury us after spending years burying us. So we have to be useful. And how, how we, we do that is how, how we get to secondary schools that we know that these things are involved much. Educate them. Then for those who are already in it, then go to their headman. You, you, you are in Nigeria, you know most of them because you know how to get contact to them. Then talk to them. Let them know that fighting for a just cause is good. Dying for a just cause is good. And I'm dying for nothing. Some of them have, we have lost many of them and the, when you look at the cause, just nothing, maybe a bottle of beer. When they take beer, they get, get, they get high and the next thing is they start shooting and they throwing on bottles and next thing somebody is dead. And they will say they are going for peace talk. The, the dead, the dead will, will be buried and forgotten. And they will say, eh, we, we come for our brother, we, we, we go for condolence and they pay money. That one is gone. The person is gone. That money will not bring you back. So it's better for us to die for a just cause, which is Biafra, fighting for the freedom of Biafra and the son of Biafra than dying for what we will not remember for. Those that have died today, nobody remember. Nobody even wants to discuss about them. Even when, when they bring the topic, nobody wants to discuss because they are dead and forgotten. But when you talk of uh, mm. Ujuku, people that died fighting for a just cause, mm. you like to hear from them. The story yes. of them will, will even motivate you. The motivate story of them you. will motivate you. The story of them will put more fire. Mm. Yeah, it will put more fire in you to go for a just cause. Not time for what you don't even, even when your sisters or your brothers say of it, none of them want to even, some of them want, don't want to even to touch your, your cops. No, but they will even police, if police kill you, they will not even go to ask for your cops. They will say police carry. Let us stay. They don't want to even to be remembering anything that, because it is painful. It is only those who have been in the realm of where it is happening that know this. If you are, if you are born in a place where you have enough security, you don't know about this. Most of us who lived in the ghetto and uh, born in the ghetto, we, we, we sometimes we long for what to be free. When you start, when the war starts, everybody will learn because we want to be free. Not even the members will be going on their way. I knew that it's not a member, you don't even know where to go. That is the, the most people that, that will be involved in this. So I think uh, letting our youth know about the dangers of this thing we help a lot. And also talking to the people, let them not play, blame people who are not prepared into anything. Most of the people that bring you into this thing, they are not prepared to, to do it. They don't have the heart. And once you bring them down into it, they are the first people to go down. When they start, they don't know how where to go. Some don't have even relations who stay in the town where they cannot to. They're moving from one place to and then we still go down. So I think it is, it is it is better for us to educate to educate them. When once we tell them the dangers of it, and there's no benefit in it. I've not seen anybody that is boasting because he's a he's a, a member of a course, boasting and saying I'm a member of this course, I'm very happy to. None of them is boasting because of it. So that is the the little I have to drop here. Because I know many people will still have other people to other good information to drop. That will help us a lot. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Your your what you said. Thank I you for it down. Thank you, my brother. I'm, I'm noting I'm noting everything everyone will say. So I will now conclude on the best way to handle this court issue. God bless you and God bless Biafra. Okay, brother. Bye bye. Okay. Mm, I'm adding you, John Paul. I just pray and wish uh, it clicks. John Paul, it's not clicking. It's not clicking. 
Giovanni Henry, I'm adding you. I just create it clicks. It's not clicking. It's not clicking. Let me see. Let me see us. Let me see. Let me see, uh, let me see what to do now. I'm trying to add some people, but then. Uh, Giovanni, let me let me try to add you again. Let me see if it's going to click. If it doesn't uh, proceed, not clicking. Yeah, I'm trying to add you, Giovanni. I'm trying. I'm I'm adding, but it's not clicking. That's the problem. I've done it. I'm doing it the third time again. I'm doing it again the third time. I just pray it clicks. Uh, Chukudi will be, I would, I will do my best. It's not adding. Sorry, there's nothing I can do about it. Uh, let me look for someone else to add. Mm. I really, I really wish this, 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 this stuff could just be going on. Uh, could just be the, the, the network will allow us to discuss extensively. All right, Hart, I had you. I had you. I will be waiting for your call after the program. It's still not clicking, my brother. I don't know why. John Paul, let me add you again. And let me see if it's going to click. From all I have observed, Many people want this thing to end, especially the wars. Like I told you, we cannot stop courtism. We cannot stop, stop it entirely because the age bracket, the people who are involved are so many. But we can stop the court wars. And that's where I want to concentrate my energy on, the wars. We want the wars to stop because if we don't stop these wars, we'll be losing our youth. We'll be losing our good men. And, and the war that is awaiting for us, the war against the Union of the Islamic Court, when it starts, we will not have any men to fight it again. So we need to stop all these wars. We need, we need to tidy our home. We need to keep our home safe for the task ahead. Uh, Tio Chooks. It's not clicking. It's not clicking, my brother.
if if you cannot get me online, you, you can also write down, write down something, a, a strategy or a way we can stop this, we can stop this cold war wars. Well, I think I said, just to help out in this solution, letter should be sent out to all 